So thank you for joining us at the Global Donor Platform for Rural Development. I'm Michelle Tang, a Communications Officer at the Platform Secretariat. And uh, I am uh, Lisa Saga, intern at the uh, Platform Secretariat and a focal point of the thematic working groups. We're here today uh, with the co-chairs of the Platform's Rural Youth Employment Thematic Working Group. We have Frank and Sven from the GIZ and Anna and Peter from FAO. Frank, um, why are the issues around rural youth employment important to the donor community? So I think first, uh, I think rural youth employment is really one of the most um, crucial and important issue in our partner countries, especially in Africa, with a, a rising youth population and probably 20, 25 million jobs, which need to be created every year. So I think there's no doubt about the relevance. Uh, on the topic of employment creation is also crucial for a broad range of other thematic areas in development cooperation because it has a lot of links to education and skills development, to economic and also sectoral policies, to entrepreneurship, promotion, innovation, technology. So these are all relevant aspects uh, which we can capitalize on. And I think connected to this question, you know, it's about providing enough food, jobs and income for a growing population and at the same time to transform our food systems in a more sustainable way. And why is there a need to dedicate a working group to this now? Um, youth are key actors for shaping a sustainable food system transformation. I think that came very clear at the UN Food System Summit and all the related processes. On, so I think uh, this is more and more important in the digital and interconnected world uh, and youth are key players for the future of tomorrow. And I think therefore it's also very important to have this thematic working group, especially as this is at the interface of rural development on the one side and economic development on the other side. And I think topics at the interface are often a little bit forgotten and not in the main focus. So I think that's why it's especially important to have our thematic working group within the Global Donor Platform. And perhaps you can also tell us what the main goals of the group are. And just very quick, the three main goals. I think we have exchange of information and knowledge within a broad range of uh, a network and different stakeholders to engage uh, with and include a variety of perspectives from different stakeholders, from civil society, from research, the private sector, the political partners at the African Union Commission or at partner country level. And of course, with youth themselves, because they are very crucial for this topic, of course. I think it also contributes a lot to better projects and better coordination and donor coordination and also to influence and engage in relevant policy processes to the topic. For example, now with the CFS or already mentioned the UN Food System Summit. So. Frank, thank you so much for, for the very, very uh, important answers uh, to also set the context uh, for this interview. Um, over to you, Lisa. Uh, my next question is, how uh, do you see the potential of this working group in boosting coordination on rural youth employment among donors, but also going beyond donors? And uh, also, how can coordination benefit the, uh, the work uh, that you do as individual donors and as organizations? Anna, could you maybe start on this? So this working group can boost coordination on rural youth employment and bring in extensive expertise, experience across a range of technical subjects and programmatic approaches. So the, the group represents a joint space to exchange evidence-based approaches and develop ideas, update on current issues and major trends and share information and opportunities for rural youth. So the group is also looking to expand its members, member base, including the commitment to increase youth engagement. So the group welcomes any relevant stakeholders like youth organizations, private sector, producers, organizations, think tanks, and research institutes to engage and participate in our regular group goals, meetings, and concrete activities. Coming to your second questions, uh, in particular for FAO. So FAO's work is benefiting a lot by the coordination of the technical automatic working group on rural use employment. This group provides a great platform to exchange, join forces and build also long-term collaborations on rural use employment. 
So if we join forces, we have the knowledge, the tools, networks, and the political capital required to make a significant impact on the short term and longer term for rural use employment. Thank you. Sven, we're going to move on to our third question. Um, what, are the, what have been the main achievements of the group uh, in the past year? And what are some current projects that you are working towards together? Over to you, Sven. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Michelle. I think, first of all, it's great that the thematic working group on youth um, was established under the Global Donor Platform already back in 2018, actually. Yeah? And this, over the years, has helped a lot to enter the topic on the international agenda and also with members of the Global Donor Platform. Now, over the last year, we as a group have been engaging more and more intensively. And that is also thanks to the new secretariat that provided a lot of support and guidance there. We have revisited the thematic and strategic orientation of the group and also sharpened our focus on employment of youth in rural areas, um, mainly in the food economy. And we're especially happy to have a good representation of youth organizations and networks in the group you know, that bring in um, their voices in our discussion. Another very recent activity is a collaboration with the thematic working group on land governance, um, where we jointly organize a session on the very important issue of how to improve youth, youth access to land, compiling an overview of proven tools um, for rural youth employment, and um, we are systematically collecting members' experiences from the ground, and we are planning to reach out and involve youth even more in our group discussions and also uh, in our activities. Yes, so uh, for the last question, I would like to ask, um, what are the potentials for this working group and uh, what is your vision for the future? Peter, please go ahead. My um, take on this is very modest on the one hand and very ambitious on the other hand uh, as well. Why modest? Because I think we have to follow some very simple uh, principles. And the main principle I would follow in this group is continuity. For me, it's the first time that uh, in the last 15 years that I'm engaging in this, I see really a permanence, right? There's a permanent platform for exchange on rural youth uh, employment issues, right? We want to be a I don't know, call it a community of practice or whatever, right? Uh, that has the same conviction, right? On how rural youth employment, how important it is, how it needs to be addressed, right? In which context it needs to be looked at. Uh, we are of the conviction that there are potentials in the rural space for youth. And that there are not only potentials for youth, but that you rule youth will actually make the rule space and the rule economy uh, a vibrant uh, mechanism if you wish right uh, we want this to be i'm coming to the vision right uh, to be a reference point for good practices for how to actually approach this and there are so many things out there right but they are hidden here and there right and i think we have a real opportunity to consolidate this and bring this together. So that's the second principle here, coherence, right? We really have a chance to look at each other, what we are doing, what others are doing, to learn from each other and come up with more coherent interventions. And then finally, for me, what's really important is that uh, we are opening towards not non-donors, right? So especially to the youth, because I think we need to start working better with the youth for the youth. And that I would see as the third principle, maybe. And I really hope this, that this will uh, live on uh, beyond the current maybe hype uh, on rural youth employment uh, and will live on for the next decade or two, uh, because this is uh, at least what we need uh, to approach the, the issue and uh, generate results. Thank you. Over to you. This is great. Thank you, Peter. Um, I wonder if um, Jaana, Sven, Frank, would there be anything to add? Yeah, thanks a lot, Peter. I think I could not agree more on the, the, uh, the potentials and the vision you pointed out. No, I think that's a really uh, straightforward. And just looking at the potentials, I think there are really many. You know, even though we don't implement together or pull our funding, no, but I think with all the knowledge, the networks, the resources, we can tap into our membership base. No? 
as well as to engage with further stakeholders beyond. I think these, these potentials are as diverse as we are as a group. I think also that youth should uh, sit at every table, not to uh, participate in planning and decision making. No, I think these are really um, very important issues. And I think thereby I think food system transformation can foster youth employment. But on the other side, real youth employment can also foster food system transformation. And I think together as a key solution to also contribute to achieving the SDGs and especially SDG 2, which is, I think, also the main focus you know, of the global donor platform as such, not, and not only our thematic working group. So thank you to you all for your time. We really appreciate that.